For decades now, malaria parasite remains one of the killer diseases in Africa, a phenomenon that continues to give sleepless nights to researchers. It is against this backdrop that these young scientists converge on Yaoundé Thursday with mathematical modeling in the spotlight. For any intervention to succeed, you need the best evidence possible. And we think that with the mathematical modeling, we can improve our understanding of the dynamic, not only of the transmission of the disease, but also of the success that various control interventions may have. We have the bed nets, we have vaccinations, we have uh, 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 drugs, we have so many interventions. The capacity building workshop was geared towards devising strategies in combating the disease in Cameroon. This meeting is an opportunity for the National Malaria Control Program with the presence of mathematicians to help the NMCP to evaluate the impact of all the interventions that we are implementing in Cameroon. Amongst the points highlighted are a new control tools beneficial in reducing the malaria infection. One of the domains is infant mortality. However, even though the rate of infection has been declining since 2019, the Technical Vector Control Advisory Group and the Center for Research in Infectious Disease say Cameroon is ranked amongst the countries most affected by malaria and war.